Mike Lang here with another quick tip. When I find great free tools on the internet, especially for NDI and live streaming, I got to share them. So here's one that I just found through an engineering discord group of mine. It's a NDI scopes, uh, broadcast scopes, vector scope, waveform monitor, audio monitoring, that sort of thing. Here's the website. It's a GitHub link made by Mind Studio Official. I don't know who the author is, but thank you very much for the contribution for a tool like this. It's much needed in the uh, NDI and live streaming community. So let's jump right into it and take a tour of the interface, shall we? Here's the screen. This is the interface. It's pretty beefy. It, the blinking was just me trying to move it. It needs a pretty hefty video card, a high-end uh, NVIDIA RTX card or Quadro card will do the trick. You can go on the uh, GitHub link and find all the specs for the supported video cards. Um, so it's very dependent on that, first of all. So you have a main display here, uh, UV vector scope to the right, at the bottom, luminance waveform, and these three panels are all selectable. Waveform parade, YUV parade, or black level. So you can choose what you want down there, all pretty standard broadcast scopes. The black level is a new display for me, uh, but I kind of like it. I can sort of see what it's displaying, but I'll have to ask the author specifically what this, uh, this scope is for, because I'm not familiar with it. And then the bottom right, we have uh, audio. It'll monitor up all the channels of audio that are coming down the specific NDI source. So you choose the NDI source by clicking on the camera icon. All of your NDI sources will show up. We're going to use vMix output number two, which is right here. And then I'm going to give you something else to look at. Let's get this looping background going. So you can see the display is pretty quick. The rendering is pretty quick. You get a nice... Uh, nice scope, nice vector scope. So some of the other features is there's a reference frame browser where you can capture still frames. You could click this here and then I can actually compare them by clicking on a still frame. I can compare them side by side. So this is a pretty resource intensive process um, but it's kind of nice. You can see your adjustments. Um, I'm going to close that button. You can crop and toggle a mask and only view part of the image and the scopes will follow. You can view transparency grid if you've got an NDI source with alpha channel. You can to toggle a false color display which shows you color saturation at various levels. The time code from the current NDI source, that's fantastic. The metadata gives you all sorts of metadata info, particularly frame rate, aspect ratio, and color format, and then any XML metadata that might be coming down the NDI source in a nicely viewable screen. And then last but not least, you can change the vector scope scale right here. I'm going to do 2.0 so I can actually see it, but you can do it and zoom in on your vector scope, just like on an old Tektronix scope. You've got a zoom. And then here you can choose which device you want to output the audio from the particular source to. So there you have it. Overall, it's a great tool. Thanks Mind Studio Official for creating it, and I'll see you next time.